At the moment when we're editing on the timeline, um, if we use the selection tool to uh, modify a clip, so we cut a clip, basically it's always going to leave a, a gap there. Okay. Um, we can select that gap and then delete it and that will close the gap. Um, but we want to be able to do that edit all in one in one go. And actually one thing we can't do here is lengthen the clip. So we can't actually lengthen the clip back out. So the ripple tool allows us to do that. So if we come to the ripple edit tool, which is the third tool down, um, and where you see the little white arrow on the bottom right of these tools, um, there's always going to be a list of other tools. So the ripple and the roll tool here that we're um, seeing are tools that we're going to um, use quite a lot um, for refining our edits. But first of all, the ripple tool. So the ripple tool allows us to um, shorten a clip. And what we're seeing there is the first frame of the second clip, so the, the purple death titles, um, and then the frame we're going to end on. So if we really want to end uh, right when her arms are up in the air, so that would be a good spot to cut because the action is kind of finished. Um, then we can ripple to that point okay and then it kind of flows nicely into the next shot and we'll talk a bit more um, in the next class about moments when we when we can cut as well and um, so when we're actually editing um, and kind of thinking about editing well one of the things we want to keep an eye on on screen is where we think the viewers eyes are going to be looking at so if something's moving to the left or to the right or we're zooming in um, then we'll kind of see that that motion happening and we can use that to, to kind of cut to so in a lot of these videos with the fights you'll see the action moving to the right or to the left or someone punching um, you can use those uh, actions or the moment at which the kind of uh, thing happens to then cut and move to the next um, edit as well okay there's a really good example of that online actually and I'll sh just show you the rolling edit tool and then I'll show you an example of um, kind of using motion to, to kind of cut things. So the ripple tool will shorten or lengthen the beginning or end of a clip so we can ripple this clip. So it's actually going to shorten the timeline as well. So you can see here my timeline, my video is ending at uh, 10 seconds and 8 frames. When I shorten this clip I'm actually shortening the whole timeline. Okay. With the roll edit tool, when I position my edit point here, it's actually moving both those edit points. So when I make an edit, it's changing the out point of the first clip and the in point of the next clip. And we're not um, shortening the timeline because they're changing by the same amount. Okay. So what we would use that to do, if we kind of come into our track here, is we might have a beat here. Okay, and we might try and time, you know, the, the edit point with a strum of a guitar or kind of knock of the drum or something like that. Okay, so I think there's a. Okay, so actually, the, the throwing up of the arms here will be much better off um, by the woo here. So if I grab my ripple edit tool and I pull this out at the beginning. You can see it's actually lengthening that at the beginning. So I've gone too far. Okay. Okay, so we can time the music with the, the kind of throwing up of the arms and uh, that kind of stuff. So that's where we can use the ripple and the roll edit tool to get these edits just at the right spot. So if I move that back with the rolling edit tool, it's almost cutting a little bit too late. So when I move this closer, the arms are going to okay cut up and it's going to cut right at that uh, kind of magic moment, if you like, when the, the dancing is finished. Okay. So those are the two tools. Let's uh, stop there.